Hey guys, my name is Cassandra and welcome to my video. Today I'm going to show you our uh, grocery haul. We get groceries about twice a month if we can. Maybe we'll go back uh, maybe one more time to get fruit if we're really low or something like that. But I really try just twice uh, since we've been here up north. We're in Yellowknife Northwest Territories. So food is a little more expensive here we found. There's four places you can shop here, and I went to all four. It's Co-op, it's called, which if you're in sort of uh, the western part of Canada, I think is where Co-op is. Um, and then there's Independent, which is really expensive. That's where you get your the bulk of things. There's Walmart, but it only has like canned goods. And there is another store called Northern Food Outlet or something like that, but it's basically like foods that they order from the mines and extra stuff. So it's like Costco food usually. So yeah, let me show you what I got. I'll turn it around here and I'll show you at the end. Uh, let's start with the meat. So Chris eats these pepperettes as a snack. So I got him two hot pepperoni and the kids requested a bag of their own. So I just got regular non-spicy. They were on sale too. So. Um, I didn't. I wasn't able to get the kids nuts, and they'll both eat these, so it's kind of like a better snack because um, I do have our snacks scheduled. Um, oh yeah, I'll show you my meal plan at the end too, guys. So I got three packages of bacon. I eat bacon almost every morning. I got two big packages of beef, two packages of sausages. Chris takes these to work every day, so I cook the whole package. I put them in containers, uh, like as a meal prep thing, and then I just pull it out of the freezer every day when I make his lunch. Uh, I got some pepperoni. We're going to make pizza as one of our meals. Uh, and the kids like pepperoni or I wouldn't have gotten it. I usually put beef on. I got a chicken. $20 package of chicken. I got this at that bulk store. So this I think was $16 for two parchment paper. We got these. We already got into them in the car. We ate them all. <laughs> we don't usually buy things like this, but the kids were hungry and we hadn't had a snack. So bought them that as a little treat. We got two crackers, one toppable, one wheat thins, and then I also got a pancake mix. I got this cereal. We've never had this brand of cereal before, but cereal is super expensive here, so we're going to try it out. This is like uh, almost like a mini wheats, I think, frosted mini wheats. And then we also got these fruity whirls. I got myself some face wash and uh, shampoo and conditioner and some rice vinegar as well. I put this stuff in. This isn't part of our grocery budget, but uh, I put it in just because I got it there. You guys want to see it. So I got sticky tack. That's to hang all the kids' pictures on the walls. These are what I take my makeup with, off with, these cotton rounds. And then Chris takes these pens to work, and these pens are for the house. I wish they had black in this, or I would have got a full package like this. But And then I also got... Sorry, I'm not going to get the camera right now. I also got a bath mat for the bathroom because if you guys don't know, we just moved and so we're still picking up little things like that. But that'll come from like my household budget, which is $100 a month. Um, okay, so I got two zesty garlic croutons, two distilled water. That's for Chris's CPAP machine. Uh, one milk for the kids. Two uh, salsa, mild salsa. One pickled hot peppers. That's for my pizza. I like that on my pizza. Two butter, unsalted butter, and then this big thing of margarine. Uh, low fat, low fat pretzel sticks. I didn't even know they were low fat. I don't know if you can get not low fat, but anyway, that's one snack for the kids. This is one snack for the kids with guacamole. Like not one snack. Like they won't eat that at once. I just mean one day a week they have pretzels with something else, and then they anyways. You, you get the point. Uh, okay, I got one block of cheddar. I got this big thing of yogurt, which was on sale, but then I saw this one was on sale. It was like $2, so I grabbed that. We'll eat this first, obviously, uh, in the next couple days, and then we'll work on this one, which expires much later. I got myself some milk. I am lactose intolerant, so I can't have anything. Got lactose um, sour cream, and then I got this cream cheese for the kids for bagels. Also a snack they have once a week. Um, I got these free range eggs. They were free run eggs, whatever. They were on sale, so I got three of those. Just come around and show you the bread. Okay, so I got a lot of 50% off bread. So I got English muffins. I got this, this, I had baguette on my list, but they have this there and I was like, that's fine. It's like a whole loaf of ciabatta. I got raisin toast. I will add that in as a snack um, once a week. It's usually like a pastry, so like bagel, bread, something like that um, as a snack. 
Uh, I got two of Chris's bread. He doesn't eat my bread that I make. And I got this bread only because I'm starting to make bread now without I've got all the ingredients and we've settled in. But this is really good for French toast and my son has really taken a liking to French toast lately. So that's what that is for, only French toast. I'll freeze it and then pull it out only when we're making French toast. Um, I got two bags of green apples. This is my, one of my kids' favorites and they were on sale. I think it was $3 a bag for three pounds. And then this is a whole thing of grapefruits. This was $5 and it's like five pounds of grapefruits. Maybe it was $5.99, but that's still pretty good for how many grapefruits are in there. My daughter loves grapefruits and my husband will probably eat those as well. Um, I got this bag of lettuce. So like this bag of lettuce here, guys, is $5.99. I don't know what it is where you're, where you are, but that's a lot compared to where we're from. And same with this, I'm pretty sure this was like $7.00. Um, okay, then we've got the stew potatoes. These were $8.99 as well. Like it's really expensive <laughs> for like fresh produce and stuff. My husband has a sweet potato for breakfast every morning. Then I got with other things like with an egg or something. I can't remember, but <laughs> these were on sale one ninety nine a pound. So we got those. Um, this is green leaf lettuce for my husband. Again, lettuces like this was like three twenty nine dollars or something like that. Um, this is $5.99 for these, which is actually pretty good because, because I got three pretty good for here. I got these on sale. So this whole bag was like $2, I think. Oh, there's my pizza. Hang on. Sorry about that. So these are just for us to eat. I'll make some, I'll mix sour cream and onion soup mix, and then we'll just eat these as a snack. Vegetables and dip we have once a week. Um, I got three bananas, which my son dropped on the ground, so they should be yummy. Uh, some garlic, a, oh, this was so expensive. It was like three fifty or something. We're having tacos, so I can really not get it. Um, but iceberg lettuce. Uh, raspberries. And then this is like a little treat. My husband will kill me, but it was, I think, seven ninety nine. But strawberries are so expensive. So anyway, I got this as a little treat for the kids. They're happy. Um, okay, so this is what I got at that bulk store. It's two pounds of shrimp. So I think this was $20, which is pretty good um, for that shrimp. I got two pizzas just for lunch today. That's what you heard go off in the oven. Uh, the kids like pepperoni, and then I made this one for me. Obviously, we'll have leftovers. Uh, but they were $3, I think. And then these were on sale as well. We're going to do like an appetizer night just for fun. And then these, my husband takes work every day if he doesn't have a salad. So when that salad runs out, then I'll send him with his frozen garden mixed vegetables. So it's mostly beans, which he likes, and then carrots as well. My kids want to say something here. They're having a little picnic over here. <laughs> Hello, Alice. It is Jesus. You're right. And what are you doing? And this is pizza. Oh, yum. What a special lunch, huh? And it's hot. It is hot. It just came so out of the oven. It. Let's open these up. What do you think? Do you have anything you want to say? I, I put in, in the work. It's hard to see you because of the light. You're going in the what? All right, so here's my meal plan. I do still meal plan for the month, uh, so but I'll just show you like the first 15 days, I guess, and show you the next 15 days in the next video. This side are the scheduled snacks, and then on this side are the dinner meals. So the first is fajita wraps. Fajitas or wraps, I have that already frozen and made. The kids really like to make their own creation on the wraps, that's why it's both. Uh, the second is leftovers. We have leftovers every Sunday. Um, the third is pizza where I'll make the crust and then I'll do one for the kids and one for Chris and I. The fourth is sloppy joe potatoes, which is just like a sloppy joe homemade mix over top of baked potatoes. The fifth is tacos or lettuce wraps. The sixth is leftovers. Just because I think I'll have a lot of food left over because Chris works those days, so we don't eat as much obviously when he's um, not here. So the seventh is um, Chinese honey chicken with vegetable fried rice, which is just like a, I don't know, sort of like honey garlic chicken you would get at Manchuwak with chicken fried rice. No, vegetable fried rice, my bad. <laughs> the eighth is Mexican chicken lasagna, which is a pampered chef recipe. Uh, the ninth is leftovers, again a Sunday. The tenth is chili, eleventh pulled pork, which I already have made, it's a freezer meal. Twelfth uh, is just a chicken breast, couscous and vegetables. The 13th is <laughs> is like a crock pot meal, so it's uh, with quinoa and a bunch of vegetables and tomato. Um, it's sort of supposed to taste like an enchilada vegetarian meal. The 14th is shrimp alfredo. I'm going to make it homemade, so lactose free. Um, the 15th is 
quesadillas. So I do chicken and pineapple and barbecue sauce and cheese. That's how we make our quesadillas. And then the 16th is leftovers again. I also do like some breakfast ideas down here. I just get all the stuff I need and then we just pick whatever we want that morning. I have some meal prep up here and then I'll just go through the snacks just so you know. I have an avocado left and a tomato so I'm gonna make guacamole for snack. The first, um, then cheese and crackers and vegetables and raisins is always our church snack. Then popcorn, then applesauce and pretzels, then vegetables and dip, and then muffins, or that's like our pastry day, so that can be bagels, muffins, raisin toast, whatever, uh, whatever pastries or breads we have. <laughs> uh, then yogurt and granola, then hot chocolate, then uh, cheese and crackers again, and then it just rotates from there. I know some of you are saying hot chocolate is not a snack, but I actually got that idea from our tribe of many. I'll link her vlog or vlog, whatever, down below. I watch her a lot. She's a large family uh, vlogger. And yeah, she said she gets her kids hot chocolate for a snack. And I'm like, yeah, that's actually a really smart idea because it really fills you up, especially when it's cold in the winter time. And uh, yeah, I tied some over into lunch. So it's not obviously a healthy snack, but it's something to look forward to. And sometimes we have a little something with it fruits or vegetables or whatever. All right, so that's the end of our grocery haul today, guys. Make sure you subscribe if you like to see my grocery hauls. If you wanna see more of them, I'll be doing them twice a month now that we're settled in here in the north. Um, oh, so my total today was, let me check, cause I can't remember. Okay, so my total was 405.38, which is great. My budget for the month is 800, so so we're pretty close. But a lot of this stuff will last us for the other half of the month, like some of the meat, the yogurt, stuff like that should anyway uh, last us for the last half of the month as well. So hopefully, I can make it in my $800 budget. But yeah, I think that's it. We're doing also a special survivor auction. So I'll be buying some special things for that, which will be a little more expensive that I'll have to fit in my grocery budget. But when we watch Survivor, I'm a huge Survivor fan, if you guys don't know. And when we watch it, we will, uh, I'll be doing an auction for the kids and my husband. So I'll give them each a bit of money and then I'll bring out things just like the old Survivor auction, you know, some things will be covered, some things won't. They'll have to bid on what they want for supper that night. So uh, that should be lots of fun. Maybe I'll film uh, what I'm going to do for that as well. Let me know in the comments below if that's something you'd like to see. And also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up when you're subscribing if it's something uh, that you enjoy to watch like grocery hauls and other homeschool and mom life content. Here, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.